the truth about Loki's sexuality in the MCU. On Wednesday, June 23, 2018, at the launch of Loki Episode 3 on Disney+, Plus, viewers were allowed to see the Norse god of mischief follow themselves through the sacred chronology. In the prior episode of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Lady Loki, a version of Loki that has previously appeared in Marvel Comics, was shown for the first time. Loki, a gender-fluid shapeshifter who appears in comics and Norse mythology, is often shown in both masculine and feminine guises, in various depictions of the character. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the truth about Loki's sexuality in the MCU. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. The most recent episode, titled Laminitis, reveals some new details to be learned regarding this mystery Loki variant. Sylvie insists that her name is Sylvie, but Loki cannot get any more information out of her. When Loki ruins Sylvie's time travel gadget by mistake, it leaves them stranded on a planet that is about to expire. They go aboard the enormous spacecraft known as the Ark, hoping to escape the impending Armageddon and save some of the world's inhabitants. On the train, Loki and Lady Loki have some time to chat to one another, and although we don't learn much about Lady Loki, we do discover a lot about Tom Hiddleston's portrayal of Loki, including the following. He sees himself as capable of existing in both the gay and straight communities. It is a monumentous occasion when a character's sexuality is verified as being queer for the first time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The director of Loki, Kate Huron, just verified on Twitter that it wasn't simply placed there for no reason. On Wednesday morning, the show's director sent a message on Twitter saying that the shocking revelation about Loki's sexual orientation was always intended to occur after the premiere of Loki Episode 3. Kate Huron said in an essay that it was vitally essential to me and my aim from the minute I joined Loki to acknowledge Loki as bisexual. Loki is an anagram of the word bisexual. It is an essential component of both his and my identities. My joy knows no bounds as I reveal that canon has been included in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In recent years, the film series that is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been steadily growing to incorporate a greater LGBTQ diversity in their cast. Tessa Thompson, who portrays Valkyrie in Thor Ragnarok, has come out as bisexual. As indicated in an interview, it is revealed in a sequence that did not make it into Thor Ragnarok that the warrior lady who perished during the film's major combat flashback was Valkyrie's lover. Other Marvel characters that have been confirmed to be gay include Captain Marvel, Ao, and Deadpool from the Black Panther franchise. Many people had high hopes that more Marvel Cinematic Universe characters would come out after the revelation of Loki's sexuality. One week after the shocking conclusion of Episode 2, a brand new episode of Loki has finally come on Disney. Plus, leaving us with even more questions than before. What is the name of Sophie DiMartino's evil counterpart in the mirror? If the sacred timeline is destroyed, what consequences would it have? In Episode 3, the primary emphasis was the development of a unique connection between Loki and this new variant. This interaction took place in a wide variety of periods and locations. It was disappointing that Owen Wilson's character, Agent Mobius, did not reprimand Loki for abandoning him in the rocks car when the 2050 storm was occurring. On the other side, the episode provided a wealth of information on the abilities of the variant, as well as her possible place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the implications that this would have for Loki. Instead of getting things started right away once Loki and the variant arrive at rocks car, director Kate Huron and writer Bisha K. Alley take everyone out for drinks, including the variant and Sasha Lane's Hunter C-20, to get to know each other. The two best friends drink margaritas at a dingy dive pub. However, this is a plot to get information on the TVA from Lady Loki, assuming she is that version of the Asgardian. This Inception-style method is one of the variant's incredible abilities that Loki does not seem to have. Different Loki, different capabilities. The Timekeeper's rooms are accessed via a succession of golden doors, according to a sleepy Hunter C-20, though she has hinted that if confronted with the space lizards, she would kill them. It is unclear what her exact goals are now. Loki kidnaps the villain via another time door before Ravona, Renslayer, Uga Mbatha Ra, can kill both of them. Loki may have saved their lives, but in doing so, he left them in the heart of yet another disaster. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more, and don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.